Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sense Tomorrow in here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, I'm with David. I'm with David's friend, Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> you guys with Dylan? Dylan. <laughs> yeah, Dylan is. Oh my god, I almost got so nervous. I mean, oh, yeah. Dude, I suck no, so bad. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I suck so bad with names. Dude. But I was like 95% certain Dude, that your name was Dylan. So I, I literally don't take that to heart at all, but now I'm gonna eat cookie dicks, I'm depressed. I'm <laughs> yeah, so what we're doing right now, you guys are gonna see later on, we have some cookie dough, we're about to work out, we're gonna hit some chest. David talked me into eating some cookie dough. Can you explain why we're gonna be eating some cookie dough before this workout? Fat. Uh, protein, <laughs> protein and carb is like a massive, massive molecule, right? So if you eat something really high in fat before your workout, ideally something like cookie dough, that molecule is just gonna be popping all through your joints and you're, I'm not through your joints, through your vein. <laughs> now keep my cookie dough back. And you're just gonna get like a really fat pump. So like, just try it. Eat like a bunch of cookie dough and then some top ramen before you train and you'll look pretty good. Your blood yeah, pressure might go through the roof, but. Cookie dough. I have to say this right now, guys. It's delicious and I love it. I do not recommend you guys eat cookie dough before every single workout in the day. This is my first time ever eating cookie dough before we're gonna work out. So we're gonna see if David's right. He's usually pretty on point with like <laughs> macros and and supplements and all that stuff. Like he's usually really good with this stuff, so I'm gonna trust him on it. It's a hit Hopefully, as you remember today. No, it's, a, it's a hit. It's a hit. Okay, good. We've been really looking forward to this. This is David's first time in my new house. We've been chilling. We got some food before. We're gonna hit some chest. But yeah, guys, like I said, we're gonna go to the gym right now. We're gonna take some pre-workout. We're gonna hit some chest. We're gonna try to get some new maxes today. I think last time when we trained, we did like three plates together. Uh, I think I could do three plates and maybe a five on each side. I don't know about you, David, but I've been really working hard on like trying to get my maxes up and everything. So I'm gonna try to push myself really hard I today. Know. We'll, we'll, we'll prescribe you a new max. For uh, back. Prescribe. We're gonna get 335. 335 All right. Let's get it, dude. So guys, what we're doing right now, we're starting our chest workout. We're gonna start a flat bench strictly because, personally, I just wanna be able to see whatever I'm access to the flat bench. So we're all gonna be starting this and we're gonna be working on the incline later. But as you guys just heard, we're gonna start just a plate on each side, do 10 reps for a warm up, go up to two plates, do like four or five reps, go up to 275, do like one or two reps, 315 for a rep, and then see how much we can max out, maybe with three plates and a 10 on each side. Cause that's what we said we we're gonna do today, right? Yeah. Or at least that's what I'm gonna get. Yeah, that's what we're prescribing to you. Like you're gonna we're hit prescribing it. it to me. Yes. We got Dr. David, Dr. <laughs> Dylan. Oh, wait, hold on a second. David, Dylan, Doug. Triple, Triple D's. D's. Triple D's, baby. <laughs> Dude. Things fixed, Honestly, I don't think we should fix anything right now. Just let him go how he is. Because if we switch a bunch of shit up, then it's just like, you should just. No, no, not a bunch of shit. But just we'll just like a nice slap on the back and some adrenaline. If we do like a full fundamental form, like rewiring, it's just like. Because we're going to slap him so fucking hard, his entire adrenal gland is just going to spill out and he's going to get it. All right, now we're starting to work our way up. We got two plates, second set, four or five reps. I've never hit 335 before. I know, that'd be fucking shit, I don't know. That'd be dope, bro. We'll have to figure it out after 275. Stable. No, the bench back in home, it's like taller, stable, wider, it's, it's better in every way. It feels like I could just push the weight easier. I feel like on here. Yeah, I'm like yeah. using more of my yeah. body if that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like literally here, just my shoulder blades just hanging That's off each side. Yeah. This bullshit split That's the here, this cup, like That's this the is like. Thing. This was like a little bit wider. I'd be able to like lay my back out on it and just blow, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's just I straight commercial bench and shit. I want to 10, but if I get like fucking four, you better cut this clip and drop it on my neck. Shit. Let's go, push. Push. Let's go, three more. I'm not helping you, you gotta push it. Push Eight, it. Push two it. more. Let's go. Nine. Let's go. Push it up, push it up. You got it. You got it, push it up. Ooh, good shit. That was solid. Strong. Shit, this guy's strong. Dude, that damn bench actually didn't feel that bad. Something about that bench is magical. This guy is strong, dude. <laughs> 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
Feeling good? We're hitting it, yeah. Hitting it? We're hitting it. Awesome. Nice. You just pull that chalk off the ground? Yeah. Convenient place for it. Dude, you just pull that chalk off the ground right there? Do you want to lift? Yeah. Just lift. Ones. Three big girls in the ball. It's getting serious. It is getting. I always have this bad, like phobia, I guess. My phone's always next to here. Whenever I see like a plate getting taken off the bar, I always feel like the plate is just gonna smash. Has my that phone. ever happened? You ever smashed your never. shit up? Never. 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 Ooh. Never. Oh snap! Here, right, here guys, we go. Here we go. 315. This is like the the prequel to the the main event. We're trying <laughs> to get 335, but we gotta get the three plates first. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Up, 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 up. Dude, if I put myself in your body right now and executed a very highly specific technique, 365 for a fact. Seriously? Like if I try to bench like that, I can only bench like 255 using that form. What, <laughs> elbows in like this? No, just like elbows out and like super slow, like twisting the bar pad. That's just bruised. So right? elbows in and just... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> let's go, Get let's it. Go. When you're, you want to, okay, you're here, right? Yeah. So you're here. You want to tuck the elbows all the way down, like obviously not too exaggerated. Then when you press up, you need the bar path to go up a little bit. Like you want the bar path to go up like near your head more and then back up, because what you're doing is you're, you have your fucking elbows all the way wide, you're coming with a straight bar path, and just simply losing all your power. Going straight back up. I mean, that's impressive as fuck. Like, you know, and, and another thing is, the descent speed should be fat, it should go, it should accelerate downward, so the bar should go down relatively fast, and then come up, but part of the reason, and the thing is, it's mostly, it's natural for people to do that, but the reason you're not doing that is because your elbows are so flared that you have to go down slow just to keep your shoulder slaved, so it's a compensation, so you'll be so much stronger with your elbows tucked, that and the fact that you can lower the bar faster means it can spring up faster too. So it's just all around 365 also, all day for sets of 10 paws. Your retractor is not rescapted. No, your, your retraction is not rescapted. Yeah, your is really retracted. You don't really have like your shoulders tucked back onto the bench and you're in a strong position. You have your shoulders all slinky out, like just all like loose. And the fact that you could even hit 315 like that, like, like me. Dude, I dare you hit a slinky 315. Try it. A slinky 315? Yeah, it. slink it. He looks strong, man. He's got it. I can't even. No, I don't want to hit a slinky 315. I'm going to slink my All right. shoulders. Alright, hit like an honest, like Larry Wheels 315. Oh, okay. That was nothing for me, bro. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I should have yeah. said. <laughs> but basically my bench form is not like I'm trying to explain it my bench form is not as optimal as I would like it to be like his bench form is the nice. shit like he's got really good bench form my Yo, shit? See, wait you gotta see the smirk on David's face right now oh he doesn't have the same smirk anymore he was just so happy getting guests up like that like, yeah dude like I got the best bench form around yeah he got a dab yeah my form is a fucking shit I'm not gonna dude, lie hit a dab so right now just hit a dab alright <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Get it. No. So <laughs> close. I'm going to take Dylan's pointers, guys, and David's pointers. I'm going to work on my bench form a little bit. I was that close. Literally 10 pounds makes so much of a difference, man. If I would have yelled louder, you would have gotten it. You think so? Yeah. I think if you slapped me a little bit on my shoulders, I would have had it, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if I could change my form up a little bit, I really try to like put my heels back more, like how Dylan was telling me to. But I've been training this way for so long, it's just so hard to break a habit like that. But I'm going to try to work on it for sure. Dude. You're literally, it's almost like you're squeezing a pencil like with your, like, with your straps. Like, yeah, like that. Like, you literally want to tuck your traps together. Like that? Yes. Am I good? Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. New form, day one. <laughs> Watch him get, like, 30. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> One. <laughs> 29 short. <laughs> Dude, that shit looks so strong you fucked it up. <laughs> I was just so focused and you screwed me up. You fucked him up, dude. Why do you have to say something? Why can't you just go? <laughs> 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 yeah, you like. You wanna like lay on your upper back, yeah. Push to the heels. Yeah. Ah, it's a process, man. Just gotta trust the process. All right, guys. So now that we maxed out on our bench, we did a little bit of like a closeout burnout of two plates. We'll be hopping on some incline dumbbells. Key to building your chest. Hit incline every single time you guys do chest. We saw some 60 pound dumbbells, get like 12 to 15 reps. Focus on getting that squeeze as we go up, squeezing the chest like how Dylan said. Getting the pencil, squeeze on the back. We're gonna do the opposite with the chest. We're gonna squeeze the pencil with our pecs. Let's try this, ready? Staples is gonna get a lot of service. A lot of new pencils are gonna be bought. <laughs> our flat bench we maxed out over there then we did three sets of incline dumbbells now we do some reverse dips try to go down get the squeeze come back up you're really gonna feel like in this area right here where this vein is you want to get that vein out do these dips Super set that, some push ups. Before you guys know it, you're gonna get that Superman chest. Let's get it. Look at those tries at work. Look at those veins. Let's get it, David. Look at the veins in his elbow. I'm so bad with angles, dude. He's it's so nice, bad. He's got nasty veins. Yeah, man. I've had blood pressure. <laughs> we did our dips. We did our flat bench. We did our incline. Now we're gonna literally just burn out with some flies. So two, three, maybe four sets. We're feeling a little bit courageous, a little bit adventurous. A little adventurous. Four yeah. sets tonight. Coming back cookie dough. Whoa, fuck! Dude, look at this shit. What's going on, Doug? I got that special sauce, bro. That cookie dough. Got any safes in your house? I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna take a look. All right, guys, so we finished our chest workout. I got my boy Dylan over here. He's gonna be going home now. Dylan, what'd you think? Yeah. Dude, it was awesome, man. I give it like super cool. Honestly, I give it like workout a workout was awesome. You were real close to PR. I almost had it. When the form gives up a little bit, you'll get it. Yeah, we gotta do that. Maybe we could do like another thing next time. I could come yeah. out to Jersey. We'll, we'll have like a proper like seminar. I'll give like a full like 2.0 form upgrade and then you'll hit like 335. Yeah, because honestly, like half of my fans out there who like criticize me, like, Doug, your form sucks, your form sucks. So I know they're gonna be eating me alive in this video. So next time, you I can come, come out. Home gym, dude. That, you have a home gym? Yeah, I'm like setting up my base. Full fledged home gym. When's it gonna be ready? It's pretty much ready. You just have to put mirrors there probably like a week or two. Okay, so then text me. Before October 12th though. 
I'll come out to Jersey. Cool. Guys, if you want to see that, smash the like button on this video. I'll come out to David's house. He'll teach me how to do proper benching, proper squatting, and definitely some deadlifts because that's like your signature thing. That's thing. So that's what we're going to have to do, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this chest workout video. Subscribe, comment down below. Um, follow Dylan. Do you have a YouTube account? Or I do. You? It's just my name, Dylan McKenna. Follow him on YouTube and Instagram. Follow David on YouTube and Instagram as well. And uh, yeah. yeah. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>